This demonstration will focus on how to create an Android virtual device that actually looks like a real device. You can see here in the emulator I have uh, one set up that would emulate uh, like a Nexus One phone. But you can see this doesn't look like a phone. So if you want an emulator to look like an actual device, there are a couple of techniques that we can use. So first of all, I'm going to start in Eclipse and if we go to the Android SDK Manager, and if you remember this is where we went in to download and install the different versions of the SDK packages. And if you scroll through this list you can see in some cases we have some devices that may or may not be installed for you. Uh, for example, on mine I have an MT917, a Motorola installed. But right above it here's a real 3D by LGE. So if I wanted to create a Android virtual device for this, I can uh, click on this and install it. And then I go through and accept the agreements and install. So this is going to take a little time to install so while that works I'm also going to show you other places that you can go to uh, get these SDK platforms that you can put in for your different devices. Now first of all, if you are wondering about what type of devices are out there, there are lots to look for. But if you go to the developer Android site, uh, you can go to the guide developing device.html link. And this also dem uh, explains how to set up an actual device for development. But if you scroll down, you can see a list of different vendors that are currently using the Android operating system. So you and if you have a particular device that you own that uses Android, you can go to that manufacturer's web page and look under the developer section. So for example, Motorola, uh, I have already up on another page, and their page for developers is developer.motorola.com. And in order to download any of their SDKs for different emulators, you have to join. So you can um, create an account, which is free, and then once you have that set up, then you can come in here and log in. Well, once you've logged in, you can get to the SDK add-ons and sample kits. And this lists the different tools and resources available for the different types of devices that you can test for. How about the Motorola Zoom, which is um, fairly new, and we'll do the 10.1. So I can come over here and I can download that SDK, and I have to accept their terms of agreement. And while this downloads, I'm going to go to the previous page, which has instructions on how to install this. So um, back here is the install guide. So it tells us to download it and how to use the add-on. Now after it's you've downloaded it and unzipped it, uh, one of the important instructions that you need to follow here is we install it by copying the files that were unzipped into uh, the add-ons folder which is within the Android SDK files that you downloaded and unzipped and put on the hard drive of your computer in some location. So it's good to know that location because you use it quite frequently for different things. So we download and unzip it, take those unzipped files and put them into the add-ons folder in the Android SDK files. 
Once you've done that, then we can come down here. Now this is doing this on a command line tool. We'll demonstrate how to do this within um, Eclipse. We'll create a new Android device. We'll give it a name. And from the AVD target list, we're going to choose the Motorola device that we just downloaded the SDK for. Now I can come in and create a new virtual device. So I'm going to choose new. This was a real. So here's the real 3D and I'm going to go with level 8. I'm going to go with the lowest one. And let's say real 3D. And when you do want, use one of these that are already downloadable, the uh, you can use the built-in size. It's uh, automatically picking up the right size of screen and resolution as well as any hardware properties that would go with that device. So in general, you really don't need to do anything else on here. And we'll do Create AVT. So here's my real 3D device, and I'm going to click Start. And I'm just going to choose Launch. So now I have something that looks like a real actual device as compared to have these side by side and you can see you know that this one definitely looks more like a real device than this one. And this is taking a while having uh, multiple emulators open at the same time is very memory intensive. So while this, these are here, I'm going to close this and my other file, my download, my other file is finished downloading so I'm going to find that and I'm going to drag that into my folders. And in the instructions it said to take these files and put them into your Android SDK folder inside the add-ons folder. So I'm just going to take this and drag it into the add-ons folder. I'm going to go back into Eclipse and I'm going to start the AVD again and I'm going to create another new device and this was Zoom 2 and I'm going to choose my target. And you can see now here's my zoom tool. So I'm going to choose that option. Again, it has everything else pre filled in for us based on using this particular device. And I'm going to cl click create. So I have my zoom two, and I'm going to start and launch and then we can compare. So we have this one and we have our Zoom 2 which is just huge and I can't resize this on my screen so you're not going to be able to see all of it but it is for the large tablet size. So those are a couple of techniques for creating emulators that look like real devices and if you have a particular device that you would like to see what it looks like then go out to the manufacturer and see if you can find their developer tools where you can download and install them for your emulator.